This is Twit. According uh, to uh, a heart rate monitoring program used with the Apple Watch, Cardiogram, and the University of California, San Francisco, they uh, did a heart uh, e-health, I'm sorry, a health e-heart study. Um, 6,000 participants using Apple Watches, but a, uh, a uh, engineers from Cardiogram trained a algorithm to predict AFib based on the heart rate that the Apple Watch was receiving. Now, we know the Apple Watch does a pretty good job of heart rate, but apparently, according to this study, it detects heart rate irregularity with 97% accuracy, which is not good enough for diagnosis, but certainly uh, a good start towards a screening tool or yeah. a tool that might say, hey, you might want to go see the doctor. Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing a little bit of stuff here. Um, that's interesting. This is not something Apple ever pushed as a, uh, a potential feature of it, partly because you need FDA approval for something like that. Better to have partners do that. Yeah, let yeah. them let them do that. But yeah, data, data, data. If you collect data, you can analyze data, and the better you can analyze it, the better services you can provide. Right. And not helping someone to have a outpatient procedure in today, uh, in next month, instead of a quintuple bypass in six years, or to be taken off a plane feet first, is a, a very positive feature. Yeah. A lot of people might be willing to pay a twenty percent premium for that feature. Well, uh, our own Jeff Jarvis has uh, suffered from AFib. He recommended, and I bought uh, a little device which I'll ca carry around with me at all times, called the uh, Cardia K A R D I A, and it's a, a, a an EEG or yeah no EKG in a uh, piece of hardware that you pair to your phone, and it actually does a a whole uh, EKG that you can then send to your doctor for reading or their doctors. They have a service that you can pay for to read your. EKG. So that's even an even better solution. The problem is that people who have arrhythm, uh, arrhythmia um, don't have it all the time necessarily. It hits them suddenly. They don't. They can't record it. But the watch can be continuously recording and kind of give them some information which they can pass on to their doctor. And then, of course, they would go on and get an uh, EKG. Apple is apparently, this is a rumor, working on... Uh, a diabetes treatment tech for the Apple Watch, but it would be via a smart band. This comes from yeah, the voice. Jonathan Geller rumor. You know. mm. Good or bad? Is that good? What does that mean? I mean, he back in the day, he had tons of leaks about Blackberries and you know, and and Apple phones and things. He hasn't done. I don't think he's done leaking in quite a while. But he's, he's a boy genius. Really yeah, he's the boy genius. He's the he is the he's the boy genius. Yeah, the titular boy genius. Yes, the titular boy genius. <laughs> is that why he's hiding yeah. his face? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, we've heard about this several times. I mean, every time there, this rumor comes out, it's breaking exclusive, and we've heard it three, four years going yeah. on now. And yeah. it's super interesting because that that's one of the silver bullets in, in wearables. Sure. And the smart bands is interesting because there is a, a mini lightning port in every Apple Watch, but it's sealed up for diagnostic use only. And it's interesting to me, like, how would Apple do it? Would they unseal that port? Would they have some sort of mechanism to connect the smart band? How would they handle, uh, you know, I have so many legacy bands. How would that all factor into it? <laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah. glad they're pushing this sort of technology forward. Yeah, that'd be that, that's that's a good question, particularly because a device like that would probably require a prescription, so it would not be out of line for say, well, actually, you're going to have to take it to you take your watch to your doctor, and they will ship it out, and then five days later they will they will ship it back with this actual uh, intelligent uh, glucose reading band on it. Yeah, uh, yeah of course, Google right. has been long rumored to be doing a actually, I don't think it's a rumor, a similar thing with a contact lens, um, but there that's just as much vaporware as, as uh, this one. Here's Looking the, back five or ten years from now, it's going to be super interesting to see how this stuff all played out. Yeah. 